really what is here. up everyone today Hello. is a dirty job day yes it is we actually it's like a dirty job week Ugh. we just finished um cleaning well i finished cleaning the chicken coop no, the the chickshaw sorry we just fin i just finished cleaning the chickshaw out it had gotten so nasty This was a dirty job week here um, where we've just done a lot of cleanup and uh, freshening and straightening and that kind of thing. So Jonathan just got done cleaning out the bottom of our chickshaw. Chickshaws are pretty much self-cleaning except the wire grating on the bottom of the coop can get clogged with feathers and various things so that the manure doesn't fall through like it ought to, but it kind of builds up. So Jonathan did the hard work of removing the lid, turning the thing on its side, and spraying out the bottom with our pressure washer. So now we're coming back in. You can see that the manure really did fall through um, the wire. The, all that straw you see is um, from the nesting boxes where the chickens have kicked out the bedding that we put in, which actually works out pretty well because it um, mixes in with the manure and keeps it from getting, like being like, uh, have that, what is it? It's that like that urine smell, that nitrogen or acidic, what is it yeah, called? Yeah, I don't know, the nasty smell of nasty, chicken poop. The nasty, um, and so it's, it's blending it with that carbon stuff. So I think that we are like actually um, helping things break down really well. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is I think we're gonna park, we've kind of moved the, we had the chick shot over here to my right, then we moved it in between these trees right here to my left, now we're going back over here. I think one more slot to kind of keep the distribution even. Um, we're gonna pull some mulch over top of this pile here, um, kind of build up the mulch a little bit where we're gonna park it. Um, so just that, that way they, we kind of get a good composting. You know, we don't know how the trees are gonna love all of this. It's a test for us whether or not the peach trees are gonna thrive or not. Um, they didn't, they're kind of diseased and didn't produce really well last season. We need to prune them um, and in probably just a few more weeks, we'll prune these back really good. And I hope that all of this, I. It's our guess that it'll make them really happy. So I hope that we have a beautiful peach harvest um, this season to look forward to. But that's what we're doing. It seems like our chickens are pretty happy in here finding all the stuff. Um, Colonel over here is trying to find his place in the social hierarchy. So we may give him his own little, little flock to work with. Um, he's the original, the OG rooster and uh, this he's, is Colonel. He's kind of ousted. He's got, looks like he's got his feathers and his left foot are giving him a little bit of trouble and his, like he's been picked on, his poor little head. Um, he was not wanting to come out of the coop for the cleaning. So we're going to try to get him his own little space so that he's not so stressed because he's a good rooster. One other thing to note with the wood chips is that if you don't have a nitrogen source uh, wherever you dump your wood chips, it will start to break down whatever it's on top of. So if we had have just laid down wood chips on top of this area without the chickens in here, it wouldn't have gone very well because it'll start sucking the nitrogen from the tree and it'll start breaking down the trees. So that's why this works with chickens right here. Um, and it really wouldn't work with any other setup. So what I wanted to show you, Esther, can you grab the rake? We have some that's really done a good job of breaking down. I want to show you the compost that it's made. And this has probably been, how many months ago did we do the wood chips? Uh, October. When you're so we did it in October. Out. And I'm going to show, she's going to rake some back and we'll show you the compost, how it's all really broken down oh, quite well quite well hold on so whoop, way too dark hold on brighten it up so you can see how it's breaking stuff down and really creating some good 
some good compost for us that we'll be able to use in the spring hopefully in our garden we'll just be able to come down here and get shovels of it um, and use it as compost I thought this was pretty cool um, it's nice to see nature working for you uh, and, and yeah. it's nice to have the plans that you make truly yeah. work out Why look like that's dirt like yeah. that's not poop anymore <clears throat> you can see and I can't smell I mean I'm not trying to yeah, it whole... doesn't smell like chicken poop. So it's definitely broken down into dirt. You know, you still have some chunks in there, but uh, overall pretty cool that nature does this. It's super, super encouraging, yeah. super helpful. You can even see where some of the hay was. Um, so that's kind of what we've been, what we've been working on. We butchered chickens with some friends this weekend. That was the other dirty job that we did and it went amazingly. Our breasts were so much bigger than they were last time. Um, I can't remember if we said this in the last video, but one of our issues was we didn't confine their space enough. And so we put them in the A-frame. I think you guys saw that in an earlier video. They were in the A-frame and really confined, able to eat their food and not spend too much of their energy. So they gained a good amount of weight. I'd say our average weight was high fours. Um, Oh, whatever. Our average was, <laughs> I would say that our average weight was a little over four, which was up from, you know, the threes that we had before. Um, I'd like to get that up to five, five and a half, because um, that's, that's really the perfect size chicken for us and our family is a, a five to six pound, you know, broiler. Hips and the chicken poop works. So um, we will be posting more videos back on here. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.